Hey guys, welcome back to Excel Media. I'm Jack. And this is Phil. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how to become a graphic designer at a major corporation. So yeah, Jack, can you tell us about uh, some experiences you have at Monster Energy? Yeah, so uh, I guess as far as not any of you guys know, because I haven't told anyone yet, yeah. <laughs> but I work as a graphic designer at Monster Energy. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the experience goes, it's... I don't know if I could say it's what you would expect, but yeah, yeah. So it's a day-to-day, -day, you're more or less creating assets, marketing material for salespeople in the field mm -hmm. that they could provide to um, you know, gas stations, 7-Elevens, sure, retail stores, sure. or like, you know, um, just any like major store that you can see like yeah and like event right? and music yeah. festivals so, uh, for someone that wants to become a graphic designer like at a mm -hmm. major corporation what are some tips that you have for them what are some tips honestly it comes down to networking because i it wasn't like monster energy was hiring at the time or sure. anything i actually reached out on linkedin about prior like a year and a half before i even got hired oh sure i looked online was like okay who's the manager creative director there at monster sure and at the time, he was just like, you know, we know what, we're not really hiring, but mm -hmm. guess what? Like, I can put away like for like 30 minutes with you, call you up, give you a review of your portfolio, and you know what? I took that opportunity yeah. and made that connection, and then now like oh, so the, you went out to them. Yeah, I reached out oh, to them instead awesome. of like you could wait around, but then like, well, you're gonna wait for LinkedIn to have their job application opening, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you're gonna be among the thousands of people to submit. Then you're not yeah, really yeah, like exactly right. You you're, yeah, it's it. playing the lottery at that yeah, point. You know yeah. what I mean? So this is like what I like to call like the power of asking, man. Yeah. And this like sales and like just kind of like well, you're kind of selling yourself on in the interview, exactly. right? You're selling your personality, you're selling your assets to mm -hmm. whatever company it is, right? Uh -huh. Asking is so powerful. It's right. really basically how I set up my own business. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So. Don't don't like look down on the power of right, asking right. and just it's putting kinda, yourself out there. Yeah, know? it's kind of like your lead magnets. Even though I asked, but I didn't get any return until a year and a half later. But it's the same thing with your lead magnets. You might not get the first sale, exactly. But like it could come back to a year, three year it's later, in their mind. and you do get the sale, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah, you just want to build up. But exactly. so honestly, other than that, it's uh, because it is a design job. You, you kind of do have to cater your work to that company's look or what they're looking for. You don't want to like go to Monster and have a Hello Kitty looking portfolio, you know? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So can you talk about that? Like, what's what's in the portfolio? What th what should people do if they want to make a good portfolio for like a major? Yeah, company? for sure, for sure. Um, I do say, you know, make your portfolio what the company wants to see, but at the same time, it has to be authentically you, kind of showcasing your abilities to do work. What's that company looking for? Are they solely graphic design? Do they want your they want to see your typography skills? Or nowadays, because social media is so relevant. They want to see a lot of motion mm, pieces, videos, movement, because yeah, yeah, yeah. that stuff translates to posts and like any social media, TikTok, yeah, whatever you want, exactly, right? Yeah, and graphic design is huge. My whole yeah. business, I, I need so many, like even like this, like oh yeah, video, for sure. It's I like have a little my new stuff, like exactly. packaging, stickers, yeah. everything kind of needs graphic design. It's like good to like exactly. more or less know. Nowadays, there's good tools for people that aren't like graphic savvy, like mm -hmm. Canva, Canva, Canva there, right? Yeah. You do a lot on there. Yeah, but how many times have I asked you for, yeah. for a YouTube better for sure, or for like, sure. you know, like this or like, yeah. I've, it's been years and I've been using right, right. Your, your service for so no, but long. But you've been now. catching on, you've been learning on all yeah, 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 too, yeah, which yeah. is something I would recommend anyone trying to start a business or anything in general, YouTube. It's like pick up basic Illustrator, Photoshop skills. That yeah, way yeah. you're not always going to like Fiverr or whatever and like mm -hmm. shelling out 50, couple hundred bucks for yeah, yeah like a logo, like a flyer or whatever, you know? Exactly. Yeah, because yeah, you know, yeah, at yeah, that time- Graphic design is just a huge demand right now and yeah. it's such a good industry to get into. Right. Uh, so one other thing I'm really curious about mm. is the interview process. Ah, uh, yeah. So you got their attention with LinkedIn. How did the interview go? Mm -hmm. So after a year and a half, I uh, reached back out because that was when I did actually see a real job posting on LinkedIn. Sure. But then it was for a senior position and I've just been out of school like a year and a half at that time. Cause I reached out right after sure. I graduated. Okay. So yeah, um, I was already working some other jobs. So that's also one thing, do other jobs on the side while you're trying to get into your dream job sure, or whatever. Sure, sure. So you're not like with an empty resume at the yeah, end. Yeah, exactly. Also, was that necessary to build your portfolio? Yes, you still want to build your awesome. portfolio, but then at the same time, you don't want to have a beautiful portfolio, but they're like, hey, but you've never worked anywhere for the past mm -hmm. however long. How do I know you can work with people and like sure, push deadlines sure. and things like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah but then yeah. yeah, after that, I reached out on LinkedIn again and he says, oh, you actually want to reach out to this other creative manager who's hiring for his team. Sure, and guess what? He sure, does sure. have a junior position open. 
Um, and then after that, uh, I guess Monster is a little bit special in their own way. I did, I went in for like two, three interviews. Sure. Three um, interviews. Wow. Yeah, it was through a, a span of like three, four months too. So it took a really long time. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess it's because they're HR or whatever. But then first two, I think it's very like normal. Uh, first one was kind of casual. Went to the HQ in Corona, <laughs> coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Corona, California. Yeah. That's where the yeah. HQ's at. I uh, went to the building, got a tour of the whole place, sure. kind of basically sat down, talked to some of the sure, team members sure. and then the manager, uh, just run them through your portfolio, what your work is, your work style. Yeah, so how did you feel in those interviews? Like, were you intimidated? Like, how do you, how do you uh, portray yourself in those interviews? Um, honestly, I've been going through so many interviews already at that mm -hmm. point because I was trying to get better and like jump around for, I was doing a lot of freelancing at the time sure, too. Sure, sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I, the one thing I found out is People really, at least in creative fields, we don't go into interviews with suits and ties. You kind of just go in with flannels and t-shirts. Oh, really? Yeah, so I guess that's, really that's one thing that's yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. Cause you want to show what's your own style, how, how you're like as a person. Oh, and when you get there and talk yeah, to them, yeah, I think yeah. it's important to be like very social and like relaxed and like yeah. cool about everything. Like, hey, what's up, man? Like, how's your day going? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, that's chill. Like, I see you wearing those Dude, shoes. Dude, that's really that. interesting. I would imagine like you would sit down corporate, like in a oh, suit yeah, and tie. Oh yeah, at least not for, well yeah. like what's, that's the thing too, at Monster, only the second floor, which is a creative floor, that's the only floor where everyone's like kind of cash and like easy going. Oh, I see. All the other okay. floors are very like, like you know, accounting like an accounting setting, like but like you're not like yeah, wearing yeah. suits or whatever either. Yeah. It's that's pretty what easy. Going. My client's up that floor. She's the accountant for uh, Monster, so. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's like right above you, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think, yeah, we had two HQs, so she's definitely oh, okay. in the other building for oh, accounting. Okay, I see, yeah, I see, yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so so three interviews in total. You were just all three were just casual, just oh yeah, just chilling like that. Yeah. So what kind of questions did you ask? Did they ask you? Mm, they were just like, so what are kind of the previous works you've done? Sure. And like, what's your experience in like typography, advertisement, sure. things like sure. that. Sure. But let's say this is someone's first ever interview. Okay. Fresh out of school, uh -huh. and they want to get a job. Well, what are some tips you have for that person? I think definitely you want to go in asking questions about the brand or the, sure. the place you're uh, trying to get hired yeah, at because yeah, that yeah. shows your interest in them and not it's not just like like obviously us we know we're going through a hundred like job interviews at a time yep, yep. but when you're interviewing at that one specific place you want to make them feel special too because you're selling them you you're the product right yeah. and we, it's, it's a lot like sales exactly you want yeah. to ask questions that intrigue them right right because you're selling your assets exactly you're selling your skills to them, right 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 and the same thing here like when someone comes in here i'm trying to be personable mm -hmm. i'm trying to put in their mind like oh this is why i'm an asset into your mm -hmm. life right? yeah so and at the end of the day you know? it's um you're not really there. Uh, your work at the end of the day, if they told you to come into high like interview or whatever, your work's already fine. Like they, they're not gonna waste your time to call you in if your work isn't up to par. Mm -hmm. And then once you get in, it's really selling the vision to them of them working with you every single day, because they're not trying to work with some like some like guy that they don't get along with. But if you give an impression of like, oh, you know what, he's pretty easy going. I could see myself talking to him every day, working with him next to me exactly, on the desk, yeah. you know? So personality really Right, because it's a nine to five yeah. job. They don't want to be stuck with someone for eight hours that you hate, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. definitely not. <laughs> that's gonna yeah, be a horrible yeah. man. Yeah, I just feel you. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, so I guess that's really it. Uh, do you mind if you just sum it up all for us? Like yeah, for how sure. to get a job at a really high corporation for sure. monster? Uh, reach out, network. Don't wait for a job back, uh, like a hiring thing to pop up on LinkedIn. You want to be the first to reach out first, make an impression. Ask, ask. Yeah, is always such a ask. Good skill, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's harder than people think. Yeah. It's a lot harder. Yeah, you got to yeah. be confident. You got to push for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, what are the other things? And uh, make sure your book, your portfolio is up to point, uh, at least with like the current trendy stuff. If you do see some. I know a lot of people have books where like, oh, I have like two, three projects, you know, kind of want to expand on that a little bit. Work on your skills while you're trying to get jobs at other places sure, too, yeah, right? Yeah. Build new skills. So don't spread yourself then. You yeah, know, don't yeah. Spread yourself, like, go, go from multiple places to work. Basically. Right, yeah. right, right. But then like also don't like spread yourself too thin. Like yeah, too thin, exactly. Yeah, 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 or else yeah. they're like, they're like, hey, we want to interview. You're like, what, what company are you? They're <laughs> yeah. like, oh, what? You just don't even know it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And oh, uh, I guess one disclaimer, which is more so just for design jobs. If you go for the corporate, you're expecting the corporate life, 8.30 to 5.30, 9 to 5 or whatever, and you clock out, you're done. But as for design jobs, there are a lot of people going to design studios, agencies, media companies. Sure. That 
sorry mate you're working till like 12 yeah. 1 in the morning yeah, yeah, yeah. and then if your client is like asking you at, at 3 a.m to do something guess what you gotta get up and do it because oh, yeah. outside of that that's client services then you're servicing sure, the client sure, you're not sure, exactly sure. working a corporate job where you're just designing assets yeah yeah yeah, right? yeah exactly but yeah that's just that's one disclaimer for you know designers looking for jobs if you want to be done at five family time your time corporate there you go yeah. awesome and uh, talk about the interview, like give some tips for someone that's Yeah, yeah, to, for sure. Be yourself, uh, be genuine, be relatable, go in there. Uh, just give the impression that you're someone easy to work with. You're not going to make a lot of trouble or hassle for them because you're someone that they're looking for to take trouble off of the load. So you want to be that person. Yeah, sure. Right? Yeah, it's just once again asking. Mm -hmm, like, that's what mm -hmm. it is. And asking questions in your interview right. is super important as well. Yeah, yeah you, you want to show that you yeah. care. Ask them about how their creative process is, what's their like working management, how do they like yeah. task out stuff, you know? Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Sorry guys, got a cut off back there, but uh, that more or less sums up how to get a graphic design job in a corporate uh, company. Uh, yeah, that's more or less just get your foot in the yeah, door. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to comment and yeah. that's right here. We're going to respond to everything. For sure. So if you're really trying to look for a job and trying to nail that interview and trying mm -hmm. to really work at a major company, then, yeah, Jack's the best resource yeah. for that. Honestly, look for, you know, you can reach us here in the comments or like look for me on LinkedIn. Yeah. I could, I'm honestly just going to try to help if you need any yeah. sort of help. Yeah. yeah, which is huge, you know. Yeah, so if you guys like the video, please feel free to subscribe and like the video and share it with your friends. Yeah, help us grow. Hopefully, yeah. you know, we hit like, well, what are we reaching for right now? 100 subs, you know? 100 subs, maybe a thousand, you know? Yeah, maybe a thousand. Let's yeah. not get greedy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let's go for it. Yeah. 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 Let's yeah. do it. We'll, we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, peace. peace.